Hi children, welcome to EC Physics. Let us make physics easy. Today we are going to discuss about the grade 12 chapter 1 electric charges and fields. So let us start with electric charges. Electric charge. What is charge? It is an inherent property of a matter. Okay, and we know that there are two types of charges positive and negative. Positive charge and negative charge, right? And like charges repel each other. Positive and positive repel, negative and negative repel. And unlike charges attract each other. That is positive and negative attract each other. That you have studied in grade 10. Okay. And uh, the next one is static electricity. Static electricity. Static electricity. Have you heard about static electricity? Static electricity. Okay. So when two different materials rub each other, okay, then charges are occurring on it. So this is known as static electricity because the charge acquired on that object cannot be taken out. It is static. That is why it is called a static electricity. Okay. For example, when a glass rod rub with silk, glass rod, glass rod rub with silk. Okay. So glass rod acquire positive charge. And because electrons are transferring from glass rod to silk. That means glass rod loses electron and silk gain electron. So that glass rod become positive charge and silk rod gains negative charge. Okay. A simple example that is when a plastic rod, when a, pla when a plastic rub with the dry hair, it can attract the uh, small bits of paper. I will show you the activity. See, this is paper bits, paper pieces. See, so I am going to rub this plastic pen with dry hair. Okay, so see, so it can attract the small piece of paper. Once again, see, small bits of paper. So I am going to rub it. See, so that here uh, what happening is, so when I am rubbing this plastic with dry hair, plastic pen acquire charges okay so because of these charges that the plastic attract the bits of paper okay so here when two different materials rub each other charges that is electrons are transferring from one material to another material that is why they occur charges now we can find out this from which material electron is transferring and to where it is transferring also so that we can find out by using a series. That is what is called triboelectric series. Triboelectric series. Triboelectric series, it is an arrangement of materials according to the static electricity pro property. That means the here from this we can understand that from where electron is transferring. Uh, or which material loses electron and which material gain electron that means which gain uh, positive charge and which gain negative charge that we can understand from this series for according to this triboelectric tribo electric series that the former former material loses electron and the later material gains electron for example when glass rod rub with the silk when glass rod rub with the silk glass rod loses electron so that it gains positive charge and uh, silk gains electron so that it gains uh, gain negative charge so we can easily find out the material which, uh, that is in which which loses electron and which gain electron okay so that is triboelectric series 
Clear? Now we have that is method of charging. There are two methods are there for charging a material. One is by contact. By contact. Okay. So a material can be charged. A material can be charged by keeping a charged body in direct contact with it. Okay. So a material can be here. This material you want to charge. So that so what I have to do is bring a charged body and keep in contact with it. So that the same charge is transferred to the, the object. Okay. The same charge is transferred to this body. So this is by contact. Okay. Second thing is by induction. Induction. Um, here a material can be charged by bringing a, a charged body near to it without direct contact. So that here see. Okay. So by induction a material can be charged can be charged by bringing a charged body near to it without direct contact so that a opposite charge is inducing on the other body okay so here we brought that is positive charge so here a negative charge is induced on it okay so here the advantages of this method is we can charge many objects with the same body okay we can charge number of object with the same uh, that is charged body okay so opposite here opposite charge is induced opposite charge is produced on the object here same charge in the case of by contact same charge is that is transferred to the object okay so there are two type of method for charging that is by contact and by induction now next next one we, we have that is properties of charges first one is quantization of charge a charge of an electron is represented by minus e. Okay. A charge of proton is represented by plus e. Okay. Then the total charge on any body is represented by an integral multiple of plus or minus e. The charge of any object is the charge, the total charge of any object is represented by an integral multiple of plus or minus e. So that is q equal to plus or minus n e. Okay? Plus or minus n e. That is where n equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay? So this is the condensation of charges. Condensation of charge. Okay? Then next thing is Second point is conservation of charge. Conservation. Conservation of charges. Conservation of charges. Uh, second, second point is conservation of charges. So we know that law of conservation of energy. That we are studying in day name. What is law of conservation of energy? Energy neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can transform from one form to another. And we have law of conservation of masses. Mass neither be created nor be destroyed, right? So similarly, we have that is conservation of charge. Charges neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay? So that is conservation of charge. That means total charge in an isolated system remain constant. Okay, so we can have the, an example. See, nuclear, nuclear fission, nuclear fission. So you know, uranium ninety two, uranium two thirty five. When uranium ninety two, uranium two thirty five is bombarded with a fast moving neutron, it is split into barium and Krypton, right? When uranium is bombarded with the fast moving neutron, it is split into barium and neutron. Here it is 
56, 36. Atomic number is 56 and 36. One forty one and ninety two plus three zero and one e energy. Okay. So when uranium is bombarded with the fast moving neutron, it is split into barium and krypton. Fifty six barium one forty one and thirty six krypton one ninety two plus three neutron. Okay. Now we can see that let us see that total charges before collision and after collision. Okay. So here. Total, okay. Total proton before collision. Total proton before collision. Before collision, total proton is zero plus ninety two. Zero, zero plus ninety two. Okay, equal to ninety two. Okay. Then total, total proton. After collision, total proton after collision. See after collision fifty six, okay fifty six plus thirty six plus three into zero, three into zero. See equal to see fifty six plus thirty six, fifty six plus thirty six. How much it is? Ninety two. Ninety two plus three into zero. Ninety two plus zero. That is ninety two. See that. So in both the case, so total charge before collision is equal to total charge after collision. So conservation of charge. So, so that means total charge in an isolated system remain constant. Okay. Now the third property is third property is additive nature. Additive nature. Okay. Suppose a body. Okay. Consists of plus one Q charge. Okay. Minus two Q charge. Plus three Q charge. And minus one Q charge. Okay. So a body consists of plus one Q charge. Plus three Q charge. Minus two Q charge and minus one Q charge. Then the total charge in this body is given by the Algebraic sum of the individual charges. That is what is additive nature. That means total charge in this body is given by Q is equal to C plus Q plus one Q plus C three uh, Q plus minus two Q three T three Q minus one Q minus minus two Q. See the total. Plus one Q and three Q. How much it is? Four. Four Q. Four Q minus one Q. Then three Q. Three Q minus two Q. Then again one plus one Q. This is the additive nature. So the total, so the total charge on a body is the total charge on a body is the algebraic sum of the all charges located anywhere on this object. Okay, that is additive nature. Total charge on a body is the algebraic sum of all charges located anywhere on this board. Okay, that is additive nature. 